Hey, what's up guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you caught my last video where I unboxed a Murph pad, you heard me mention that I'd gotten two packages in the mail. Well, we're opening the other one now. We're gonna be unboxing a Qfrency from Kibio. I had saw where Kibio posted on their Instagram, they had a new 3D printed case for the Qfrency. Jokingly, I commented, hey, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and send me that. And they said, okay. I said, wait, seriously? And I got, they commented back and said, yeah. So I started messaging with Danny, uh, better known as Baking Pie from Kibio. And he has uh, decided he's going to send me some boards to build on stream. So this is going to be the first one. Let's go ahead and check out the product page. So the Qfrency 60-65% split staggered keyboard. This is going to be the Revision 3 PCB kit, which... Uh, as far as I know, the main difference between Revision 2 and Revision 3 is that instead of using a standard TRRS cable to connect the halves, this is going to use a USB to, excuse me, USB-C to USB-C cable to make that connection between the two halves. Um, 60 bucks for the PCB kit, $28 for the plates, so unless you have your own plates or are going to have some made, uh, you're probably going to want to pick some plates up. The acrylic cases are 130. I don't know how much these 3D printed cases are going to be yet because I don't see them being offered in the store yet. So I assume he is still working on having those made. USB-C to USB-C cables is an additional $4. And a TRRS cable, if you do decide to go with version 2, is going to be between 4 and, excuse me, between 250 and 6 bucks. Uh, this board supports two rotary encoders in both corners on the macro section of the keyboard. So if you want to cop two, I would recommend it. Uh, another thing about these boards, you can actually snap the macro pad, well, macro row part off of the PCB. So if you don't want that, that is easily removed. So let's see, um, you're going to need six 2U stabilizers for the standard layouts. I um, believe it does support split backspace. Um, let's see, let's see what all it supports here. So you can go split backspace, you can go with your ISO layout. Looks like you got split right shift. And then of course multiple layouts for the bottom. You can also use a stepped caps lock key, which I don't know. I've become a fan of them. I guess just because you know your standard keyboard doesn't have them, it's something you can do with a custom. Uh, let's go ahead and get into this box. Let's see what we have here. So, what have we got here? Coasters, I'm guessing? These are little uh, FR4. Looks like little coasters. You got a cool little keyboard halves on one side, the KBO logo on the other. This is definitely going to sit on my desk so I don't have to keep putting my drinks way over here off of my desk mat. Let's see. So we've got rotary encoders. Looks like we got two encoders. We got black and silver knobs. We got a black and white USB C to USB C cable that we're going to need to connect those halves. Uh, oh, we got one of the little Kibio tools. Uh, they're pretty nice for measuring out uh, what size your keycaps are I guess 1U to 2U it's got little indentations there so you can always you know if you're putting something together not sure what size keycap you need you can always use that to figure it out it also uh, has the holes for the different types of switches chocks alps mx switches so you can easily determine what kind of switch you've got there if you don't know so this is the 3d printed case looks like the case came with the plates already in there. Of course, I'm going to have to take those out when we build this thing. But that's all good. Looks like, yes, it does slide together. So if you want to slide it together and kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't want to say illusion, but if you want to give the illusion that you've got a complete board, you can do that. Maybe you can mess with somebody and be like, oh, I broke my board. Who knows? If you're into stupid corny pranks like that. Let's see. Here's our PCBs. Let's see what we got in here. Let's see how these guys look. So we've got our left half and our right half here. And like I said, the PCB does have uh, cutouts there and doesn't look like there's any kind of scoring, but you can 
I don't know if you'd want to snap those or use something to cut them, but it looks like it wouldn't be too difficult to snap those macro rows off if you wanted. The rotary encoders do go in the top left, top right. Um, don't have an exact date on when I'm going to be building this guy. I'm probably going to build it within the next couple of weeks. Um, I'm definitely going to be putting some Boba linear thoughts in here. This will probably be... Well, I've got a client build I've got to do. So this will probably be my second, no, third build with the linear Thox if you include the prototypes. So looking forward to that. I really have been wanting one of these boards for a while. I'm not just saying that. I've been looking at them, and I don't know why I haven't pulled the trigger. Ever since I built the uh, four-year kit from Kibio, I really wanted to check out some of their other stuff. I saw that they had this one, and it was a 65% split, you know, and, 65% is my go-to size. So, you know, this was an interesting concept. I really like it. So I'm really looking forward to building this thing. Um, in the future, if Kibio decides to send me some more boards, I'll probably do some giveaways on stream. Um, you know, no need for me to hoard all these boards if I'm not paying for them. Let me pass them on to the community, find somebody else that can enjoy them. So, you know, there's that to look forward to. Um, the links down below will be there for... Anybody that wants to go check out my stream, I wish I had an exact date on when I'll be doing the build. I don't. I'm sorry. I am swamped with dealing with switch orders right now. But uh, after the build, I will definitely be uploading it to this YouTube channel. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can check out the build when it is completed. Um, I guess that's about it for this unboxing video, guys. Thanks a lot for being here. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you soon.